yes. Very, very serious. Mm, so Kaike, man, doing great. This Playing really well, yeah. yeah. Sitting in winner's finals. Beat Clay, beat uh, Zidane. Um, so I was talking to him earlier, and he doesn't really know this matchup at uh, this level that he's about to play it at. You yeah, don't think he, he said, he said that, well. that some guy called Blue EG just mm -hmm. like left the scene. Yeah. So like there goes his, yeah. uh, his matchup experience. That, that was his only uh, Luigi matchup experience. And uh, to put it like softly, I guess, uh, this is kind of a different beast for sure. Um, yeah, Blaze just in a different tier. He's in like the, the three Ouija gods tier. <laughs> right, so right. I don't know if Kaiki plays well, he'll he'll be able to figure some stuff up as long as, as long as he doesn't like panic. I got I gotta imagine that at least what he can take away from uh Luigi is the sort of combo uh, side of the matchup, because you can just you do that you can do that to everyone regardless of DI or whatever. Yeah. But neutral and just it, the way he approaches the matchup is gonna be so different. He's gonna have to really figure it out on the fly. Yeah, he really is. Especially, it's a super uphill battle because Blaze is the exact opposite. This is the matchup he knows the yeah, most. Yeah, exactly. So. Like I was, I was saying, like Versus is so used to having the Falco Luigi matchup, but that just means that only one Falco knows the matchup, not every Falco. Yeah. So he's doing all right so far. He's just scrambling around. Oh wow! Yeah, Kaiki is just cross canceling everything, but he, he's he's playing a lot of trades, and this is not not too bad for him. Yeah, this is this is pretty good right now. Yeah, and he's teching everything right away. Yeah. The stage control. Oh, but this Should is be, bad for sure. See, be smart with his recovery. Uh, Makes it back, but unsafe shield pressure. He has to know that Luigi will slide off, and that'll let him get a few hits in. Right in between the two hits. Luigi usually gives you the one-two, the down air into nair, and uh, Blay was just not able to pop it off. Yeah. Kaige with like uh, he's he's playing it right. He's doing what he needs oh, to do. No. That was kind of uh, bad placement there, but yeah. I think it's all right. He he started off strong. At some point though, Blay was just completely styling on Tipman though. He's been playing. Oh kind yeah. Of crazy. <laughs> you saw that? Yeah, I saw that. Uh, he was telling me that the the first. Match is always super hard, and then he like remembers that he knows the match. Right <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Still gets burned. Just makes it back. Blaze done that platform approach like three or four times. Oh, right? yeah, that was nice! Really good. good counter, the fireball, and everything. I think he played so well today. Oh man, but I think that's suck. That's it. Yeah. He's doing all right. We'll yeah. see him keep this up. I gotta imagine it's, it's gonna come at some point though, where Blea will just get that one hit and he will sweep away a stock at like very early percentages. Yeah. Oh, but he does. Speaking Kaike, of early percentages. Yeah, Kaike does that right to Blea. Yeah. Good shine kill. Yeah, Blea's wow, gotta nice. stop running into these up tilts. Yeah. Kaike loves his up tilts. He needs to get off the ledge, he needs to keep center stage at this point. Oh, bad trade with a bad DI too. He just didn't, I guess he didn't know where, where he was going to go, really. Yeah. It was a little ambiguous. Uh, he almost ate another up tilt there, but up smash is invincible. So. Up smash is invincible on Luigi? Yeah, the start up. Oh man, that's crazy. That's not even fair at some points. <laughs> yeah, it's really not sometimes. <laughs> but it's also Luigi, so. He's trying to get that down tilt kill. Yeah, he's really fishing for that, but he's got to be careful because Blood knows. Down smash. Oh, sweet spot. Oh, yeah. no. Just being Nancy. a little too Yeah, he's greedy. trying to force it. That's it. Nice. Yeah, that's what you oh, get for trying man. to force it. I'm, I know he's got to... He's got to feel so bad about yeah, that. Yeah, he's regretting that S match for sure. But it's all right. He played well. I think he figured some stuff up, out, but uh, Blood is going to... I feel like Blood is going to switch it up. Oh, oh man. Rough start. 
Okay, good, yeah, good counter. I did something. It was a weird option, but... Ooh, here we go. I think at, even at somewhat high percentages, you can crouch cancel Ouija's jab into Shine. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So you definitely should be watching out for that. Ooh. Oh, gets great. caught with his jump. Oh, no. Still has it. And gives okay, him the one-two again. Drop the shield too early. Yeah. Ooh, here we go. Ooh. The movement by Blair right now. That was back here. Ooh. Nice. Yeah, good stuff by KK saying, you know what? I'll just wait for you. Use your options. Nice pressure. <laughs> oh, that was a little weird. Yeah. Not bad. I think the most important thing Kaiki now needs to watch out for, that he, he's been getting caught several times, is Luigi or Blay in general will always go for that one two hit. So you can't jump out of shield just yet. If he goes for a down air, he's going to go for an air. If he goes for a back air, he's probably going to go for another back air. Right. If he goes for a fair, he's probably going to, you know, wave land off or just go for another fair. So he needs to just bait it out, get that, uh, take those hits on shield and just get him again uh, once you're safe. Yeah, absolutely. And it looks oh like he's no! A rough start. Oh no! A rough, rough game too there for Kaige. Looks like um, Blayo was just a lot more um, comfortable. Yeah, the, the tight space. Wise. The tight space uh, kind of messed up uh, Kaige's. I don't know his, his play style. I, I I don't know what to call it. It seemed like he was making a lot more mistakes. Yeah. Because the pressure was on him. Yeah. Sometimes that, that kicks in. I'm pretty sure this is his first time in winter, Winter's Finals here um, uh, versus... Yes, it, I think um, it definitely is. And I don't know if he's played Blea before, actually. So I think that sounds like the combination of Blea figuring things out and adjusting and him trying to, you know, just like uh, try to get used to this atmosphere right away Right, right. be pretty daunting. And this matchup, his main, uh, I don't know if you know him, but uh, Father, they, they're roommates up in Central Florida. And Father's Marth, so he's pretty familiar in this matchup, but I feel like... Uh, Once again, Blay has a different type yeah. of piece. That's good. I kind of forced that down there, but he's still got the up tilt. So he's got a light shield. Oh, nice. Yeah, we'll... That's good. Just chase him down. That was, re that was really good, yeah. Oh, he's in a lot of trouble. Yeah, Blair baiting out a lot of uh, panic movement right now. Yeah. I'm still... Nice. You cannot roll on Blair while you're near the ledge. It's just it's so obvious to him. Ooh, one, Blair's two, three. doing a lot of stuff that reminds me of Colin. Um, Colin's Marth. Just as far as stage control goes. <laughs> Kaiki doesn't really laser at all. Yeah, I feel like he's he's trying to just force his way through. Right. Um, I mean, not, not that Paco does not have the hitboxes to do so, but implementing the laser just gives him a lot, I don't know, a lot more uh, sort of uh, control, stage control, option control. Right. Getting pelted by lasers, you can't really do anything. You have to you have to manage them while playing your own game. Yeah. And Blair is running away with this very, very hard. They're playing a little cautious there. I thought he had the follow-up. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that was pretty good. It doesn't cover it correctly, though. He, he, he needs to refresh his uh, yeah fire stall exactly there it is wow and a solid 3 super solid three zero. 